What's good, y'all? T in this thing. If you're trying to grow a photography business, keep watching this video. Love is love. All right, so today I'm going to teach you how to watermark your photos. You know, if you have to send them over to clients as a preview or whatnot, you want to watermark your photos so they don't just take it and run with it, right? So that's what I'm doing today. So this is super simple and super quick. So jump into Lightroom, and then once you're in Lightroom, you either want to select the photo or photos that you want to export. And then once you got those, just go to File, Export, and then obviously it's gonna bring up the export box. So from here, once you select it, you know, where you want it to export, the file name and all of that stuff, once you get to watermark, check the watermark option. And if you already have something here, it's gonna show what you have, which it might be at default. But you can click on this, go to Edit Watermarks, and from here you can literally change it to whatever you want. So you can do, you know, preview, you can put your name or whatever you want to say. And then if you want more, you can do the same thing or, you know, just whatever the case may be, you can write and type whatever you want. So if you just wanted to have text, you can change the font, the style, the alignment, if it's in the middle, the color, if you want it, you know, super vibrant and red. So yeah, you can mess with the color, the opacity, offset, all of those things, and then the opacity of the words itself, which obviously you kind of want to be careful with this, because like I said, if you're sending it over to a client or something to preview, you don't want them to just, you know, take it and run with it or whatever. So you, you do that how you will. You can just mess with whatever you want. Um, and then of course the size, the fit, all of that. And then say maybe you just want your logo to show up or you have some type of graphic. You can either go here and select choose and then pick something from there or of course you can go over to graphic and it'll bring the same thing up. So yeah, those are two different ways. And then once you save it, you can name the preset. So this could just be, you know, preview sub or whatever the case may be and you tap create and then so from there for future reference when you want to add a watermark you can select this and be like oh okay i have three different ones i can choose from so i just want to go simple or maybe i want to do the tasha jolly or maybe preview or whatever the case may be and then once you hit export it will export with that preview so we can export it and then just choose where you want it to go we'll just have it go to the desktop it's going to do its magic and while that's exporting Morning. If y'all are enjoying the video, don't forget to drop a like and a subscribe. Appreciate you. And then boom, this is your watermark. So if you wanted to add a different one or whatever the case may be, we'll just go to the same steps, do edit, make your adjustments, and yeah, you'll kind of have a list of different watermarks that you can use. But all right, y'all, hope it helps. I'm out. Love is love. Love is love. Love is love. Love is love. Love is love.